My name is Sarah Elizabeth Cornejo and I'm the 2022 State Fellow from Tennessee. I think that it's important um, in the sense of a lot of those difficult conversations are being had in the South and things are really gritty in the South. I wish in the South maybe there was a little more between arts institutions and the artists that weren't just like such big um, white cube spaces, like if there were a couple more like artist run sort of like project spaces that kind of like ease that interaction so it doesn't feel so intimidating to go in these big spaces to view art that art can kind of like be in a place that's unexpected. I majored in English and studio art in undergrad and I thought I was going to be a writer and then um, the thesis for studio art was so intense um, and the research that I was doing for it, it just felt um, like this is what's important and this is how I want to interact with the world. Process first is reading, um, whether that's nonfiction or theory or novels, kind of like uh, shift how I'm seeing maybe something I'm used to. And then it's a lot about collecting materials. So my grandfather being a forester, I had a lot of like animal skulls or like things he'd found in the woods that he'd given me. When I moved to new places, part of the way I interact with it at first, not being like a you know terribly outgoing person, is to just take long walks and pick up what I find. So you know, in more southern places, coastal places, it's you know shells or pig hairs that pigs are shedding in the summer. Um, and then as I've moved into like bigger cities, it's car glass or like, you know, strange, like more um, human made things. I, think I feel like that idea that humans are at the top is very interesting and almost funny. Um, and so a lot of the things I use, like using the pig hairs, for example, is sort of, or like more, even like more innocuous things like fungi um, to kind of look at like look at this like vastness and complexity that we have no understanding of. All my work until these was like okay so let's think about humanity down the road in order to survive based on everything we're doing to the planet and each other has to merge their DNA with more innocuous creatures and become therefore more beneficial more like symbiotic to the creatures around them. And now I've kind of moved into maybe a more hopeful, maybe darker idea of like, well, why does humanity have to keep existing anyway? Like the world will go on whether or not we're here. And so I've started thinking about like landscapes that are post-human. And also um, I've been thinking a lot about afterlife.